the teacher uh, doesn't have the, the same role. In fact, he's not in front of the classroom giving all the resources always. You just have to prepare the thing, the activity, tell the story, and then it will be there to help the students facilitate things, uh, help them to solve problems, or just ask them the correct question to help them to find themselves the answer. And as uh, students, so they just have to understand the goals, of course. It must be very clear from the teacher's side and be creative and try really to collaborate with the others and not just play by, by themselves, but, you know, keep that way of thinking as a team. We can boost the creativity of the students with the game because very often as teachers we have to we, we want to, to keep the control on everything in the class but with video games we are there just to launch the experience tell the story and prepare all the environment but then we must accept to lose the control on what's going on in the classroom we must accept to be surprised and give the opportunity to, to our students to surprise us. So that's where video games can be really powerful. Video games or game in general can be really, really powerful. Teacher had to introduce game-based learning or gamification. As a first step, shouldn't focus on efficiency because efficiency is one thing. But sometimes we, I think, uh, we 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 are too focused on that, and so we don't accept to try experiment. So first step would be for me to okay, what are the the skills, the 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 way uh, of uh, the the how to learn skills. We, which we want to achieve with our students, what are their needs first. We don't have to, you know, to uh, let beside our curriculum skills, our curriculum objectives, but first, what will be the experiment as students? What will they keep in mind in 10 years and say, okay, I love that course because we did this and this and this. I don't remember all the knowledge of these things. I really felt empowered. And so that's the first step. And then maybe uh, trying to, you know, connect with other teachers as a first point. It's quite difficult, you know, to try by yourself, but you have teachers maybe in your environment, your country, your district that is trying something and just, you know, uh, discuss with them and as a first try. And then, you know, let yourself the right to experiment and fail maybe it's okay the next year it would be better.